Okie dokie, in this video we're working through the practice quiz for units 3 and 4. So this will help you prepare for exam 2. Let's jump into it. Let's see how much of this we can get done of these 16 problems. Starting with number 1, solve for x without using a calculator. The approach here is to make the bases match on both sides. So we can leave this as 3 to the x minus 1, but we're going to change the right side. Uh, from 9 to 3 squared and then so we'll have 9 changes to a 3 squared and we'll leave the x plus 3 right there that way 3's match on both sides so what's that what that's going to going to leave us with is x minus 1 equals 2 times x plus 3 then we just solve for x like a regular algebra problem so we'll have 2x plus 6 subtract x subtract uh, 6 and we'll get x equals negative 7. And that should do it. If you ever wanted to check, you could plug in negative 7 to the exponents here. You'd get 3 to the negative 8, and then you'd get 9 to the, I don't know, negative 4, something like that. Anyway, so uh, number 2, solve the equation for x. So same approach here. We want to rewrite uh, the bases, rewrite the 32 and the 1 over 28 on both sides so that the bases match. This might take some trial and error, but hopefully um, after messing around with it for a little bit, you realize that you can rewrite both 32 and 1 over 28 with the same base of 2. 2 to the 5th is 32. So we have 32 to the x or 2 to the 5th to the x equals, now here's the fun one, 2 to the 7th is 128. Um, let me think about that. Let me make sure that's right. Yeah, times, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. So 2 to the 7th is 128. So 2 to the negative 7 is 1 over 128. Okay, so we rewrite the 1 over 128 as 2 to the negative 7. Leave the x minus 8 up there. We have the 2s cancel out, so we're left with 5x equals negative 7 times x minus 8. We distribute the negative 7. We get negative 7 plus 56, 5x. We add 7x. We get 12x equals 56. Divide by 12, you get 56 over 12, and that is equal to, I don't know, you can divide both by 4, I think, to get 14 over three and that should be your answer here that's one and two let's do three and four solve the equation for x so um when you look at this equation you want to recognize we have something to the power of two minus something to the power of one plus a constant what i'm trying to say is we have five to the x squared that's the same as 5 to the 2x, minus 10 times 5 to the x, plus a constant. And this structure very much matches like a quadratic situation where we have u is equal to 5 to the x. So we make that substitution, 5 to the x, we will replace with u. And then we'll just factor this like we would normally. When we factor that, we get u minus 5 and u minus 5. So when we solve for, uh, you know, negative 5 times negative 5 is 25, negative 5 plus negative 5 is negative 10. So then we have u minus 5 equals 0, so u is equal to 5. So we solved for u, but keep in mind we want to solve for x. We know that u is equal to 5 to the x, so we replace u with 5 to the x, and we set, instead of u equal to 5, we set 5 to the x equal to 5. And we think about this equation to solve for x. 5 to what power equals 5? That would be 1. So x equals 1. Number 4, 